a local event is helping students 18 and under stay fed and active during the summer break. Lori Wallace live in Lodi learning more about this program. Hey, Lori. Hey, okay, I'm trying to balance out the sweet tooth. I've been listening to yeah. Lisa at Leatherby's looking for any avenue possible to get her name on the menu without getting a divorce. And she tried really hard. She did. She really well, I did. I don't know if it's going to happen. <laughs> she really put in the work this morning. Okay, we did the sweets. Now we're going to talk about good, healthy food for kids this summer uh, while they're home. And we're out here at the library in Lodi. This is just one of 14 locations that are offering things like this for kids in the community. This is for kids 18 and under. They are going to be out here till one o'clock today. This is the big kickoff. And Nancy, uh, this is a really important time of year to, to really focus on this. Kids are now home for the summer. And this is a big integral part of what you guys do every year is making sure they stay fed. Absolutely. This is our summer meals kickoff event that we've partnered with the Lodi Public Library just to make the community and families aware that we provide meals when school is out to our school children. So we have 14 locations in um, North Stockton and Lodi this summer. So we'll be able to provide free meals for students 18 and under. And, and part of it is just keeping them eating healthy over the summer. So I look over here at this table and it really looks like a farmer's market that you have set up for the kids to come and, and pick out food for themselves and for their families. Absolutely. We were able um, and lucky enough to be awarded a grant from Rayleigh's and we've worked with our local grocery store to be able to provide a sampling of uh, fresh fr produce that kids can get and should be eating to stay healthy. And we also serve fresh produce in all of our summer meal programs. And being here at the library, of course, there's so many programs promoting literacy, which is huge. So you guys also are talking about that today and keeping kids active and physically fit. Absolutely. Some of our community partners um, will be educating like public health and UC Extension programs and our Cal Fresh programs. Our Teen 180 Center came out to join us. Our uh, City Parks and Rec program is here today just to make sure that families and kids remember to stay active. Uh, continue to read and eat healthy during the summer. Okay, I'm going to run over here to Lauren really quickly. Um, they also, Food for Thought, providing some food out here for kids this summer. Look at he's running away from me. Oh, I'll catch him. He doesn't know. I've been doing this for a while. I'll track someone down. Hey, Lauren. Okay, so the great thing about what you're doing out here today is you connect uh, with farmers in the community, and then you bring that lesson to the kids. Correct, exactly. Uh, so I do nutrition education statewide. Um, we do a nutrition educational assembly for every grade level, K through eight. Uh, we travel between San Diego and Sacramento and all here in Lodi. Um, we do farm to school, so all of our growers bring the fruit to our warehouse in Fresno. Some of our growers in Linden, my apple growers in Linden, but we have farmers between Linden and Lindsay, up and down the San Joaquin Valley. And we go as far south as San Diego, as far north as Sacramento. And I do work with Elk Grove Unified in Sac City and Lincoln and here in Stockton and Lodi Unified. And we do these farmers markets on school campuses and we do math, history and science in about seven or eight minutes and then we make these school bucks where the kids shop and they have to do the math so it says three for a dollar four for a dollar so there's math history and science in 25 minutes so we take the kids out of class to do a full nutrition educational assembly for the student body and by grade level so the kinders don't get the same as sixth graders so we'll just talk to where is it grown for a kindergartner right yeah. but for the sixth grader you might tell them how does the weather affect the fruit what about the cost of fuel how is that affecting the fruit how about the fact that the, they want to get rid of diesel how's that going to affect the drivers to get the fruit where it needs to go to the produce market. So many educational pieces to all of it. So not just getting to enjoy it, but learning where it all comes from in the process. Lauren, thank you so much. This program is going on throughout the summer. You can find all the information on Lodi Unified's uh, website. We'll link that to our website at gooddaysacramento.com as well. But they will be here at the library in Lodi until 1 o'clock today, guys. Excellent. Back over to you. Right Excellent. on. Great program. Yeah. Thanks, Lori. All right. This is going to be fun. Okay.